Hey everyone and welcome to a quick unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing a product. Um, it's the Belkin Switch 2 uh, KVM Switch. Now, why have I got a KVM Switch? Well, some of you might be guessing. I know what the guess is going to be. Maybe you're thinking I'm going to hook up my Power Mac G3 and my Mac Pro to my um, monitor. Well, you are wrong if you thought that at the beginning of this video. Um, it is a mystery. I am not going to tell you guys what I'm planning on doing. Um, I'm planning on doing something very, very cool. Um, some of you might be able to guess. I dropped a clue in my last Geek Talk video. And um, yeah, I've told a few of you as well on MSN if you appear to be dead interested. So, um, I've got a product here. Um, it's a KVM switch. It's actually a rarity as far as KVM switches go um, because um, it's DVI and USB based. Uh, most of them are VGA um, and PS2 or VGA and USB, um, but this one's DVI and DVI KVM switches are very expensive. So this is why I've got a second hand product here. It has been refurbished and tested by an official company. So that's good. And um, I think I paid £39 for this, which is really good. That's about a £20 saving from brand new. Um, the price of KVM switches are quite annoying, but this one's, this one's an okay KVM switch. It's nothing special. It's just uh, your pretty standard switch. So let's get this open and uh, take a look at what's inside. Okay, so... Don't expect anything fancy because this is a second-hand product. So let's get the main switch out of the way for now. Here we have, let's just take a look at the frame. What can you see? There you go. Here we have um, the European power adapter. Very nice. Here's the converter for the UK. So you just pop this in the back and it converts it for UK. I guess it doesn't really matter what way you do it, but yeah, there you go. Um, here we have, this is cool, this is the actual switch um, to change computers, and it's got rubber grip on the bottom, so if I put that on the desk, it's got quite a nice long cable down to underneath the desk, have another look in the frame, and um, that's not going anywhere, and you just press that to switch between both of the computers, which is really cool. And then here is a male to female audio adapter. Nice one because I guess this switch does audio as well. Not a big thing for me that I'm too fussed on because I've got multiple inputs on my speakers, um, but still a nice feature to have. So let's take a look at the switch itself. I'm just gonna unscrew the KVM cabling. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, um, KVM switch stands for keyboard, video and mouse and here is the main switch itself. So it's very simple. Um, all you do is plug in your DVI based monitor, your USB keyboard and your USB mouse, your audio stuff this side and um, oh no sorry you plug in your speakers here and I guess the other yeah one of them is for power and one of them is for the little remote. So, if we get the little remote, yeah, there you go. The little remote plugs in there, and the power cable, just have a little, see if it fits. Yeah, the power cable plugs in there, and the audio cable that came with it plugs in there. So it's really cool that they got the adapter going as well. Okay, so I'm plugging this. Looks like we've got a sort of proprietary connector at the back with a lot of pins and this is the KVM cable itself. Um, it's tied up with twist ties so we can get an idea for the length. Okay, so this guy plugs into the back of the KVM switch and screws on just like a giant DVI cable or something like that and then it branches out you can see two cables hopefully you can see yeah there you go you can see two cables coming out of here 
and they're both identical. So let me show you what you get. This is kind of awkward to do this. So over here, you get a DVI connection. As you can see, there's a cover on there. This is your standard DVI connection. I can't remember the resolution that this KVM supports, but it's very high resolution. And then over here, you have your USB and your audio. And you have the exact same on this side. And as you can see, they're color coded. So um, you've got um, green and green and yellow there. And on the little switch, you have green and yellow. So I guess the little LED changes color um, to between green and yellow just to see what computer you're on, which is very cool. So everything's coded, I guess. Green is computer one and yellow is computer two. But basically, you switch this switch and you're flipping between two computers with everything that you need to connect to them. Um, so this is really cool. Um, in the back of your machine, you've got this lovely, neat little cable. Um, can you imagine that going into your graphics card and then these going up to your motherboard like that? That's really cool. Um, actually, guys, if you look at the length of um, these cables, I don't know how well you can see in the video, but they're not the longest. So if you had a massive case and you were doing like, um, say if you, were, uh, if you were building your PC and you were doing four-way um, four SLI or something and you had this one in the bottom one, in the bottom PCI, this wouldn't actually reach up to your motherboard. So that's one thing to bear in mind, but I guess if you were doing something that hardcore, you'd get a KVM switch a little better than this one. So that's the switch. I got it for a great price. It's come with a, um, all of the necessary accessories to get me going. And I expect you're all in big bewilderment about what the hell I'm going to be using this for. But don't worry, guys, you will find out soon enough. It'll be really, really soon. And as well, I'm getting room tour questions again. Don't worry, room tour coming up. No worries. So it's the day after. I've had the KVM switch set up for a little while. There's the controller. We have the Mac Pro on the green and change that to the yellow for the mystery machine that is going to be on there. Press it again. You can hear the audio changes back. I'm using one of my own compositions um, just so I don't get copyright stuff going on. And the sound quality is perfect. The keyboard and mouse works brilliantly. Um, there's the little box down there. As you can see, if I zoom in, you can see everything in that box there. I'll tidy everything up soon. Um, might as well listen to a bit of my composition. Pretty cool, maybe I'll do a video on that, maybe I'll play it live for you or something, who knows. But anyway, that is the unboxing of the Belkin Switch 2 KVM Switch. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching.